Nick Rains from Leica Camera Australia here. I've come to the Leica Gallery in Melbourne and you can see on the walls the wonderful images from Stu Robertson from his Antarctica series. But I've come here to talk to you about the Leica Q343. This is the latest addition to the Leica Q family. We had the Leica Q, the Leica Q2, the Q2 Monochrom, the Q3, and now we have the Leica Q343. The obvious difference between this and the existing Q3, of course, is the new lens. Why 43 millimeters, you may ask? Well, it seems that there is form in the, in the past with Leica. The original Ur Leica, made by Oscar Barnack in 1914, had a 42 millimeter lens, and there was a 40 millimeter lens on the original Leica CL. So it's not like there hasn't been a lens like this before. It's also an apochromatic design, which means that it's so finely tuned that all of the wavelengths of light will focus at the same point, which is the goal of all lens designs, and it's very hard to achieve. And that means that you get the absolute best quality that's possible out of a lens design. So having shot with this lens for quite a while, I can definitely tell you that the quality is astonishing. Now, the original Q3, of course, is 28 millimeters, which a lot of people have got very used to as a street photography focal length because you can get a lot more in and you feel a bit more inside the picture, a bit more involved because of the wide angle. The 43 millimeter is absolutely perfect perspective. And when I, when I say that, what I mean is the diagonal of a 36 by 24 millimeter sensor is 43 millimeters. If you work out the mouth, you'll find out it's almost exactly 43 millimeters. This means that the perspective that you get from the lens is exactly neutral. So things look as far away to the camera as they do to your eye. So you could say it's got a magnification of one. So nothing, things don't look compressed, they don't look spread out like a wide angle lens, it's exactly neutral. The Q3 has a crop mode starting at 28, which is the full frame, and it goes to 90 millimeters in various steps. So you've got, you've got 28, you've got 35, you've got 50, you've got 75, you've got 90. This goes a bit further. So you've got your 43, then you've got 60, 75, 90, 120, and 150. So you may say, what about the same crop on both cameras? So if you set 75 millimeter crop on the Q3 and 75 millimeter crop on the Q343, would they be the same? Well, the answer is no, they're not the same. There's two reasons for that. First of all, this is a Summicron design. It's an Apo Summicron design, whereas the Q3, it's a Summilux design, which gives slightly different characteristics. But more importantly, is because you're cropping more on the Q3 to get to 75 millimeter. That effectively makes the sensor smaller because you're only using a small part of it and you end up with more depth of field. So all things being equal, same distance, same framing, same aperture, the Q343 has less depth of field or should I say it has a more, a more apparent fall off of focus behind you. So let me just show you a couple of examples of that. This picture is taken on the Q343 at f2 at 75 millimeter crop. And then this picture is taken on the Q3 at 75 millimeter crop, also at f2. And if I put them side by side, I think you'll very, very clearly see that the Q343 has a stronger out of focus fall off in the background, which is what a lot of people like. So for portraits, this camera is superb. So what does 60 megapixels mean in the real world? Well, if you do the math, the maximum print size that you can do at about 300 pixels per inch is somewhere around 30, 35 inches wide, which is slightly bigger than that and slightly smaller than that. So this image you could say is slightly enlarged, just a little bit, these ones slightly reduced. But either way, I think you'll agree that 60 megapixels gives you the ability to do some pretty spectacular printing. All the other technology is the same inside, except for one feature I'll talk about in a minute. On the outside, we have the same intuitive design. We've got the custom buttons that you can make work for you, that long press, hold, and then set the menu function to the, the actual custom button itself, makes the camera work for you. The menus are the classic Leica menus, which are 
generally regarded as the easiest menus to navigate amongst all cameras and they are superbly simple but very very effective you have the controls just where you need them to be you've got exposure compensation on the top dial here you've got the genuine aperture ring on the lens and you've got the genuine shutter speed dial on the top of the camera so everything just fits under your fingers as you'd expect it to there's another new feature which I was very excited to find out about and that's the ability to use external microphones connected to the camera through the USB-C port. I believe that there will be a firmware upgrade for the Leica Q3 as well so that they'll both be able to use the, the microphones. Right now we are compatible with the Rode microphones. This is the Video Mic Go 2 and of course you can use their beautiful wireless microphones as well and in fact that's what I'm doing right now. I'm recording this through another Leica Q343 so you should be able to see the levels going up and down and me on the screen on the back of the camera. The camera comes out of the box as you see it in front of me here. It's all black except for the grey leatherette of course, but you can make the camera a little bit more personalised because the same Q3 accessories work on the Q343. So I'm just going to grab some of the accessories that I really like and I'll put them on the camera and I'll show you. All right, what do you think of that? I think that looks superb. I'm not a blingy kind of guy, but I've got to say that this brass finish on this lens hood is just superb. I've got the thumb grip on the back and I've got the soft release shutter button and I think that looks extremely smart. So that's the, the brass lens hood, the brass sh soft shutter release button and the brass thumb grip on the back. And the thumb grip, if you can see that, even has two little buttons on it which correspond to the custom buttons on the back of the camera so they still work even though the brass thumb grip covers them up. So that's a really nice little touch there. So yeah, pretty happy with that. I think that looks great. And let's talk a little bit about connectivity. Like all the cameras in the Leica range, you can use this camera with the Leica Photos app on your mobile device so that you can connect the device to the camera. You can use the device to view the pictures that are already on your card. You can download those pictures to your device for further editing and you can use that device to remote control the camera. I'm really enjoying using this camera. It's a fantastic walk around camera. I Honestly, did find 28 a little bit wide for my personal taste. Look, it's, it's great, but this seems to suit my way of shooting a lot better. Um, it's just a really nice perspective. And of course, the camera performs beautifully. So come into one of the stores, have a look, pick one of these up and have a look through the viewfinder. I think you'll be very, very pleasantly surprised.